Alright, what's up guys? FlickFi here with episode 3 of my Road to Glory series, and today we're really gonna just make a couple of signings, trying to improve the squad as much as I can. We're still gonna be looking to build that Empower League 2 squad, and luckily a couple of our Bronze Pack players did go on and sell for their 200 buy now, so that's always good to see. And here I pick up a nice little deal with a 3-5-2 Brown. You guys know I already have him in my team, but in a 3-5-2 formation, any center backs with over 70 pace, I'm gonna list him for 1,000, which is actually the cheapest on the market, so he's going to actually go ahead and sell pretty quickly, and we're going to make a nice 500 coin profit, which is really important early on. Here we're going to make a signing with a new right winger, and I wasn't really too happy with, I think it's Stevens is the name of our other right winger, and I decided to bring in this guy. He looks to have a four-star skill, so that's always good, and we pick up a long right here, and long's also another really nice center mid in the Empower League 2, four-star skills. And he looks to be a bit of a beast. So, unfortunately, he wasn't in the right formation. But uh, it was a nice little deal for only 200 coins. And here we pick up a center defensive mid in the 4-3-3 formation. He's not going to get perfect chemistry. But I think eventually I'll just go ahead and buy a center defensive mid to a center mid card. So, that's how the team looks right now. Looking pretty nice. And at 96 chemistry. So, we just got to make a couple of changes. And we'll be looking nice with the 99 chemistry. So, here we're going to go into the first match. And the first match is going to be against Sparta United. You guys can check out his team right there. They're pretty typical what I've been playing. You know, Balotelli, David V up front. Good players, but not the best chemistry. But Balotelli did get through on goal here early on in the 18th minute. Good save from our keeper Morris, though, to prairie that one out of bounds and out for a corner kick. And on the corner kicks, we are just so deadly. We get a really nice chance there, but I think it was the center back who was covering the near post. Managed to kind of had that one away and keep the game at nil-nil. But a bad mistake for me there. I think I brought up my keeper a tad too much, and David Villa somehow managed to get it by him. Just kind of lobbed it right over the keeper. But here Long makes a great pass there. Despite the fact he's on 7 chemistry, he seemed to perform really well. And luckily, Graham is going to get a second opportunity from Diego Lopez's save. And we tie the game up 1-1 one to -one there just before halftime. So good goal there to make things equal yet again. And Graham has continued to show that he's probably the best left winger that I've managed to sign so far. There's really not too many left wing options in the Empower League 2. There's just one other player who's got like 93 pace, but unfortunately he's like 5,000 coins. So we just don't have the coins for that right now. And I'm pretty happy with how Graham's playing. So I think we're going to keep him on the probably the final squad. It might go ahead and make some changes later on. But there Snyder kind of fooled the keeper Morris. Thought he was going to go near post, but he ended up going far post and got that one in to make it 2-1 to one in their favor. So yeah, you know, I was really struggling to go ahead and get that defense definitive goal and get ahead but here Hansen with a good opportunity long trying to do a cheeky little chip but unfortunately that one hit the post and the game was still two to one at this point but Graham here finally gets thrown goal and he's gonna finish this one goes near post on the keeper and showing why he should still have a place in the squad so in the 63rd minute we tied up two to two and we were looking to make it three to two here M McLashlin our new signing plays a great ball into Hansen with a nice little cross Hansen's gonna do a nice little shot but Diego Lopez with a poor save to be honest and we do make it three to two in our favor there in the 65th minute really happy to get that goal and Hansen just continuing to show why he's a great player for our team especially with the aerial threats and the headers and all that stuff so we do get the victory there three to two pretty happy with that victory especially coming up against the gold team despite the fact they didn't have the best chemistry and we were just one win away from winning the division title and here I do buy a couple of bronze packs because we were running a little bit short on the contracts and I just don't bother buying any bronze contracts on the market it's just I think it's a waste of coins and you can usually go ahead and get two of them like I did here along with a couple fitness cards club items which might be useful and I do open a second one up right over here looking to get some other good players and we actually get a really nice pack out of this 400 coins really pacey striker 82 pace on any browns is good to see and I get 200 additional coins for free so that was definitely a win for a pack and we go into the next match here against the squad with the orange kit I don't know the name but yet it's going to be the red gods FC and this is actually the first team I come up against that is a bronze team with a mix of a silver player so obviously that's a starter pack if I'm going to call it one so he probably just got a starter pack just like I did and he struggled a bit guys he was uh playing a couple silly tackles there was a pretty silly tackle to force a penalty for us and that was a pretty clear cut penalty and we're gonna have O'Connor step up with his 70 penalties which is pretty nice for a bronze player didn't expect him to have that high of penalty stats but he does tuck that one away right above the keeper and gives us the 1-0 lead early on and here's Long our signing showing his four-star skills and gets a rocket of a shot off in the 38th minute to give it 
us the 2-0 lead so long performing really well and I'm really happy with that signing eventually I'm probably just gonna go ahead and pick one up in the right formation so he can have the perfect chemistry might cost a couple more coins than the 200 I got him for but that's all right and there long picks up McLaughlin's rebound goal and uh, we do get the 3-0 lead and this was a bit of a stomping to be honest guys I scored a lot of goals in this game and uh, I just tried to cut down as many highlights as I can, but I still want to show all the goals. We made it 4-0 there with Long yet again. And here on the header, we're going to get Hansen getting on the board in the 60th minute to make it, make it 5-0, I think, at this point. We get another goal here off another header, make it 6-0. And we do get one more for this match is over just before the match does come to an end in the 90th minute. Long's going to play a cross in to Hanson, and Hanson's going to finish that one. So three headers in a row there to give us the 7-0 victory. Really, really a bit of a thrashing, and, uh, you know, it was a little bit unfair to be honest. I now have a team that's... That has full chemistry, and coming on bronze teams like that, you know, it should be wins anytime. And here, I think I took a little break and let my players sit on the trade pile for a bit. And you guys can see that 352 Brown did go on and sell for a thousand coins. I still got one more that I am selling for a thousand coins, so hopefully, he can go ahead and get picked up. And here, I pick up a long in a 433 formation for a thousand and eight hundred coins, so not too bad there. Usually, they're going for around three thousand coins, so I was happy to pick that one up. And we pick up another center back here, Duffy. Got a nice bit of pace on him, and I was just looking to have a little bit of rotation in the squad. I think I'd go ahead and stick him in the starting 11 and move another of our center backs onto the bench. So that way, we can have a nice bit of fitness. Everyone can be at least close to the 99 fitness, and we won't be getting tired during games. And I'm pretty much just continuing with that here, just trying to improve players where I can and adding a little depth to the squad there. So I do sign a left back and we go into the final match of the episode here. And this is probably the toughest team I've come up against. 100 chemistry and a really nice BPL goal team. This is going to be a tough match for me to go ahead and win, but we did uh, actually have a nice little first half here. McLaughlin gets a shot off Joe Hart with an easy save though, but we held him really well defensively and we go into halftime nil-nil. So... I was pretty happy with that. You know, I was expecting to really get a lot of uh, chances against me. But, you know, we do get the first goal there. Quite a finish. Hart, I think, tipped it. But it did go off the post and in McLashlin, showing why he's a great signing for the club. But here, unfortunately, after a bit of stumbling, Ben Arfa is going to go ahead and finesse that one around the keeper. Make it 1-1 all. He's going to do a little celebration. And at this point, guys, it really turned to his favor. He had the momentum going. And he kind of figured out how to play against this bronze team. Don't know why my keeper couldn't save that one. I thought I had the right bit of angling. Brought him out a little bit. Not too much, though, but somehow Nani just struck that one by. And basically, all he had to do was go on the counterattack, and that's what he figured out to do. Nani pretty much just dribbled through our defense there to make it 3-1 to in his favor. So this match is pretty much over at this point, and he goes ahead and gets one more goal for this match is over. He's going to... Juan Mata is going to play a nice ball to Ben Arfa. Ben Arfa finds Nani, and Nani is going to triple X this one right across back to Ben Arfa to make it 4-1 to in his favor. So we do lose this last match, but that's all right. You know, we are still in Division 4, so we're going to start coming across some better teams. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I sure had a good time commentating this. And if you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like or a comment. And anyways, this has been FlickFi. I hope to talk to you guys again soon.